guys, so I'm here today to film an American Eagle haul, you know from the title. Uh, my birthday was the beginning of September and for my birthday, I always just go shopping. Like I don't want things, I just wanna shop. <laughs> but this year is a little different thanks to coronavirus. I'm still not like feeling comfortable being out in the world. I did go to the mall like early in the morning before all people were there and I kind of wandered around, but I didn't really see anything I liked. But over the last probably two years, I have been obsessed with American Eagle. Like they make the most perfect jeans for my body. Their curvy jeans are probably like 90% of my jean drawer. I just like found the jeans that fit my body and was like, well, these are sold forever. I will never buy anything else. They're good quality. They remind me of the Fashion Nova jeans without uh, being so cheap. So I've just been loving American Eagle lately and even their shirts and stuff. And like in my last video, my last like try on video was an Aerie uh, offline legging haul. And so I tried on a bunch of the Aerie offline leggings and I love my Aerie leggings. Again, they're my favorite leggings. Like American Eagle just, they're just killing it for me lately. And their website is always on sale. So for my birthday, they sent me a 25% off coupon. They do if you're a member of like whatever their rewards program is. So their website's always on sale. I think everything was like 30 to 40% off. And then I used a 25% off coupon on top of that. And then I think I had like $20 worth of like cash. So when you're a rewards member, the more point, the more money you spend, you get points and those points equal to rewards dollars. So I had like $25 in rewards dollars plus 25% off plus I had whatever the regular sale was because everything's always on sale so your girl got some deals also elephant in the room if you didn't see my last video or if you're new to my channel I literally just dyed my hair orange last week um like I still haven't washed it since my hairdresser did it and like I'm just gonna be honest with you guys I'm fucking obsessed with it I think it looks absolutely gorgeous um, I will link that video down below to show, it's a video about how I revived my damaged hair so that it was healthy enough to bleach it, to get to this color. And then at the very end of the video, I kind of touch on how I got to this color. So yeah, we are fall vibes all around. So let's get in to the haul. So the first thing I picked up was this pair of offline Real Me high-waisted mesh leggings in the color Heirloom. I actually picked up the sports bra that matched these in my last haul and I loved the color so much. I had actually picked up a pair of leggings um, in the same color but a different style to match that sports bra but they were so beautiful but so see-through. So I had no choice to return them. I honestly considered keeping them because they were so gorgeous and I loved the way they fit but like you could see my entire ass. So I picked these ones up instead. Uh, these are like their medium support fit, but I find their medium support fit are very like almost not their leggings. Like you really can't feel them on. They don't feel supportive at all, but they're comfortable. I honestly, I don't know what this V is supposed to be for other than to highlight my pooch, but I don't love it. But I wanted the leggings that matched my sports bra. You girl just loves a set. And like this color is just like, Honestly, puke green is my life. If you can't tell, my lipstick is like a dusty green color. It's from Black Moon Cosmetics. So yeah, I picked these up. Um, I am pleasantly surprised that they are not squat proof. If you're new to my channel, I am a mid-sized girl. I wear a size 12 to 14 in the, I wear a size 12 in the curvy stretch jeans and I wear a size large in the leggings and I have large thighs and a large butt and a small waist and I find it very difficult to find leggings that aren't see-through. So pleasantly surprised that this color was not see-through, which is great because it's a pretty light color. You can definitely see my panty line, but you can't see through them when I bend over. So we're keeping them. We love them. These ones were only 34.10 Canadian. Again, it's gonna be hard for me to tell you what the actual prices are because it doesn't tell me, like it takes the discount off of every item. So it just kind of spreads it around. So. That's how much I paid for them, but they're originally $64.95. Never buy anything full price from American Eagle. Also, my cat is laying in her bed like a little angel baby and she never lays in her bed. I bought her this bed like three months ago and she's laying in it like three times and every time she does, it just like warms my little heart. Um, so the next thing I got was another pair of mom jeans. Okay, honestly, like a year ago, I did a haul. Actually, it was probably, it was, was it a year ago? 
At some point recently, I think it might have been earlier this year, 2020 feels like it's been a year. Um, I bought a pair of mom jeans and I was like, I don't know how I'm gonna feel about these, but then I put them on and I was like, they're kind of cute. And like, since quarantine, I have only worn my mom jeans. I now have two pairs of mom jeans from American Eagle. So I picked up a third pair. These are the AE Curvy Mom Jean in the shade Destroyed Black. Now these are not stretch mom jeans, so I did size up in these. Um, they're not, I don't want to say, like, they're not, not stretch, no, they're not stretchy. <laughs> they're, like, they're not, like, that super, super stiff denim. They're kind of a little bit, like, they're a nice thinner denim, so they're not as, uh, dramatically asphyxiating, but they definitely don't have stretch in them, so I did size up in them. I actually went in store to try on the curvy mom jeans that had no stretch and the regular mom jeans so that I could place this order and they didn't have my size in any of the mom jeans in store that weren't stretch. It's like being midsize is so annoying sometimes because they literally only had like zero, two, four, six. Cool. So I ended up just praying and picking this up in a 14. I definitely think these are my perfect size. I would say if you're a 12 in the stretch or whatever size you are in the stretch curvy mom jeans, size up for the regular curvy mom jeans and they'll fit you just fine. I did find that they felt a little bit big in the stomach area, but which I never thought I would say, but I think it's just because again, they're like, I did size up, but the waist fits me perfectly. So I definitely could not size down at all. I wouldn't be able to breathe in a 12 if I closed them without the stretch. So I definitely think that I need the stretch. These have distressing all down the front and at the bottoms here, um, I would say mom jeans in general run short. So I buy the regular length because I do not like cropped pants on me. And these hit like basically at my ankles. So I would say if you're any taller than me and you don't like your mom jeans to um, be cropped, get the longs or the regulars. I'm five foot three. And these ones also have like a cute little butt rip. Like I definitely will keep these. These I got for $39.35 and they're originally $74.95 Canadian. Ouch. But yeah, I definitely like these jeans. Um, I will say they don't fit me as perfectly as the curvy stretch mom jeans, but I really wanted a pair of black mom jeans. If you can't tell, I love black. And we're getting into the fall season. I wanted, you know, some darker colors. I do wish that American Eagle would do some more colors in their mom jeans. Like I'm... Last year, I bought a pair of leopard print skinny jeans and a pair of plaid print skinny jeans from their curvy line. And I was so pumped to see those for fall. But this year, I don't know. I don't know if it's quarantine and like COVID or what, but their fall stuff just isn't very fall to me yet. Like it's just a bunch of fucking ripped jeans that are light wash. <laughs> like give me some dark wash jeans. All of my mom jeans are light wash jeans. And I kind of want to add some more variation to my mom jeans. They have a pair of regular mom jeans that are like a light gray. And I really want those, but I'm A, afraid to buy the irregular mom jeans because I'm not sure if they'll fit me. <laughs> um, and they don't have stretch, so I'm scared. No, that's it, there's no B, it's just A, I'm scared they won't fit me, but I still want them. But they're sold out in my fucking size. But yeah, I do like these a lot, they're super cute, and I live for a mom jean. If you haven't tried mom jeans on yet and you have my body shape, which is like an hourglass shape, definitely try out some mom jeans because you will be pleasantly surprised. Like I live in mine, especially the stretch ones with American Eagle. What I like to do is just not wash them for like <laughs> weeks because I find that the more they, because they're stretchy, like they kind of like loosen up a little bit as you wear them and then they're like even better. So I think those ones will be good because they're already a little bit, they're a little bit looser in my legs because they're a size up from what I normally would be, but the waist is perfect, so. I think those ones will wear nicely. And then the next pair of jeans I got were the AE 90s Boyfriend Jean. These are in the color Storm Dark. I also got these in a size 14 because they have no stretch. Um, and this is what they look like on the model. They looked super cute. And like, again, I'm looking for some darker wash jeans for the fall. And like the Boyfriend Jeans looked kind of fun. Like I've seen lots of Instagrammers wearing baggy jeans. But I also know that all of the ones I've seen wearing them are skinny girls and sometimes things that look good on them don't look good on me. So I wanted to try them for myself. And I will say that wearing <laughs> regular sized jeans, I just don't know if it works for me. Like I need the curvy jeans. These had serious gapping in the back of the pant and they were 
like they fit me they when they did it up they felt tight like I was I felt sausaged in there and they were so thick around the stomach and the thigh area like I could not comfortably wear these so these are definitely gonna have to go back I do like the color and the distressing I, I like the idea of them maybe if they had them in a curvy um fit or like a more relaxed fit I could get into them but my thighs are they're a lot and they need stretch to fit into most pants <laughs> Uh, these were originally $74.95 and I got them for $39.35. If you can't tell, <laughs> I lost the cover of my pop socket so I am now just like using the flimsy plastic part because all of the parts that click into the pop socket broke off. <laughs> so my pop socket fell off and it won't stay on anymore. So I need to get a new pop socket ASAP. But yeah, these jeans, they're going back. Not it, sis. Um, and the last pair of pants I got were a pair of sweatpants. These are the AE Fleece Slim Boyfriend Jogger. I got them in the color gray camo. And now I sized up in these because I don't like my joggers to fit like leggings. A lot of the time, because I have thick thighs and a big butt, joggers on me will fit like super tight in my butt and waist and thighs and like it's just not how I want my sweatpants to fit so I got these in an XL and honestly I will say there is no need to size up in these if you have a body type like me because they're boyfriend they're definitely bigger I thought because they're boyfriend slim they might be too uh slim but they're definitely not like there's tons of room in the thighs in these and in the waist and the butt and like I well my worst fit about this is like the ankle in this is huge and like I kind of like a tighter ankle so I am actually going to return these and just get a size large I actually emailed or chatted online with support because I said listen I got these leg or these joggers for $28.85 and they were originally $54.95 so I said I want to do a straight exchange for just a different size because I don't like I don't think I should have to pay more just because shopping online is a nightmare and so the girl actually just told me if I just return, I return them either to the store or they send you a prepaid shipping label back. Either way, I return them. If I just message her after I do the return, they'll just send me a new 25% off like birthday coupon code so that I can just replace my order. So I thought that was pretty great. I thought I was going to have to fight with customer service. I'm great at fighting with customer service, but like I don't want to have to do it. So I was really impressed that they were just like, yeah, that's no problem. Just do the return and then send us the, send us an email or a message and we'll give you a new 25% off code. So yeah, I really do like these. They're definitely a very thin jogger. As a Canadian, I'm a little concerned about that. Like they're not like a thick warm jogger, um, but they'll be good for like the fall. Not so great for like going outdoors in the winter. Like they're pretty thin. If you live in the States where it's warm, you'd probably really like these. I like like the little rope tie also. Like they're definitely cute and high waisted and I love them. I just need, we just need a smaller size cause I got a little out of control with that one. Um, and then other than that, I just have two shirts I picked up. The first one is the Airy Sunday Soft Cropped Crew Sweatshirt in the color Heirloom. As you can tell, I love this color and I got the size medium. I'm basically a large on the bottom, a medium on top. I'm a large if it comes to like bras and sports bras because my boobs are huge. But other than that, if it's like a stretchy shirt, usually I can just like wear a medium and be fine. Like this is like a men's medium t-shirt, I'm pretty sure. So I picked this up in a medium because it was cropped and for a crop shirt, I like getting a medium because I don't like my crop to be too long that it just looks like a regular shirt. So this is what the shirt looks like. Um, the pocket here is like un, it's like not finished and the same thing kind of goes for the sleeves. Like there's not really any seams here. I mean, there is a seam, but it looks like there's not a seam here. Um, and it's a little bit cropped. Uh, it's cropped and then it's a little bit shorter in the back. Um, I wouldn't call this like super soft. It's a pretty soft shirt and American Eagle does have really high quality fabrics. Um, but like it's not as soft as the next shirt I'm going to talk about. And the inside is just like that regular kind of terry cloth material. So like it's not super, it's not super warm or super soft on the inside, but I do love this fucking color is everything with this hair too. Like oh, dreams. I absolutely love this so much. This was originally $54.95. I'm not even paying $54.95 for that. And I got it for $24.73, a steal. Okay, and the last thing I picked up was the AE Forever Oversized Crew Neck Sweatshirt in the color Camo Green. And I got this in a large. So I sized up in this shirt 
because it says it was it said it was oversized but I have some oversized stuff from last year that's like not super oversized so I was like I don't want to risk it I want to make sure that I get this like and it's actually oversized like I want a big cozy sweater so this first of all this one is a thousand times softer than the other one especially like the inside is like I wouldn't even call it fleece as a Canadian. I know a lot about fleece. And this is like a very, very, like as you can see, it's a very thin fleece on the inside, but super, super soft. And again, this is another shirt that goes down um, longer in the back. I actually put this on with the sweatpants and because the sweatpants are too big for me and I had this on, I felt like I was dying. So I, I literally in the try on am not wearing pants to show you that this is literally a dress on me. And at first I kind of put it on and I was like, oh, I should have got the medium. But then I was like, I kind of love it. My issue personally is because I'm a medium on top and a large on the bottom, if I usually, if I buy a medium top, it's not loose enough around my hips to like look oversized because my hips are so big. They usually, it usually is tight there and then it doesn't look as oversized as it should be. So that's why I ended up getting a large in this. I think a medium would have been just fine, but honestly, when I put the large on, I kind of loved it. And I think with like skinny jeans or even like leggings, I was also thinking like a pair of like liquid or like shiny leggings in the winter with boots would be so fucking cute with this. I just think this is adorable. I love the fit of this so much. And I'm just like envisioning it with like riding boots in the fall or combat boots. And I'm just like living for it. I think this is amazing and very very oversized everyone in the reviews was like I sized down and it's still huge and I'm over here like I'm sizing up and I think it's perfect like I love the oversized look I always watch all every youtuber I follow or Instagram I follow right now is wearing all those oversized like band tees and sweatshirts from I think they're all from Urban Outfitters but the issue is they're like I looked and they're first of all expensive as fuck and second of all they're one size and so I know that if these are super oversized on girls that are five foot two, 110 pounds, they're not gonna be super oversized <laughs> on me. And also I didn't wanna spend that kind of money. So this is kind of giving me that same vibe. I mean, there's less, there's no graphic print on the front, obviously, but I do, I love the way this fits. I definitely am going to, when I get my 25% off coupon back, I think I'm gonna also place an order. Cause like they're not gonna limit what I can order I'm pretty sure. So I think I might grab this in another in another color. They have like a like maroon color, which is like one of my favorite colors. I'm not sure how it's gonna look with my hair, but I think it'll be okay. Um, So I think I might pick that up in another color because I love this and I love the size I got. I think it's perfect. I definitely think you could go with your standard size and it would still be oversized. You would go a size smaller if you wanted to fit more fitted. And then if you want it to be like oversized and like a, like this is basically a dress on me, which is what I'm looking for, then just get a size up. So this was $54.95. Like how is this the same price as the crop? Like this is more shirt. <laughs> And I got this for $30.91. So absolutely love that. So all in all, not a bad haul. Um, I will be returning one pair of jeans. I wanted, I was looking around on the website for like other pairs of mom jeans to pick up, but they really don't have very many curvy mom jeans in stock right now. They have like three different styles and I think I own one of them. <laughs> so I'm just gonna have to forego the mom jeans right now and just live with the 85 pairs of jeans I have in my closet, I guess. Um, so yeah, the boyfriend jeans are going back. The camo sweatpants, I'm just gonna exchange for a different size, which I think they're gonna fit me perfectly. I absolutely love them. They're just, I just underestimated the boyfriend fit um, and everything else I'm keeping. So I think it's a good haul. I literally love American Eagle so much. I don't know what it is. I think if you have a curvy body type, if you're like that typical hourglass shape and you have a hard time finding leggings that are a, that are like see-through and that fit you in the hips and butt and also waist, I would definitely say check out Airy. And same goes for the Airy Curvy or the American Eagle Curvy line. Their jeans are the best jeans I've found at that price point. I am just not the kind of girl that will ever spend tons of money on pants or clothes in general like I just I'm cheap I can't do it I've been I've looked at good American jeans before and I just like I can't do it because I bet you those would fit me great because the Kardashians are kind of built like me but I just I can't do it but American Eagle is like the same thing but for so much cheaper always buy them on sale whenever you go in store I would say don't even buy stuff in store unless you have to because like the jeans are, are always like buy one get one half price on sale but then online they're like 40% off 
everything or they're like they're always a better deal online just trust me so yeah always buy them online sign up for the rewards program so you get your 25 percent off coupon so you can stack rewards and always buy when it's on sale never buy anything for full price these are my american eagle tips for you but yeah i love american eagle let me know down below what some of your favorite stores are that are affordable um that because like listen i know that supporting fast fashion isn't great i'm actually thinking i'm going to do a video on the on fast fashion versus sustainability and which one and like kind of compare and contrast and talk about the difficulties of being sustainable because i'm not rich <laughs> and i like to follow trends and i like to buy new clothes and that means i support businesses that maybe aren't the greatest and are contributing to global warming but bp still exists so i don't think it's on me <laughs> so thank you guys for watching let me know down below what your favorite piece was that i picked up let me know down below what your favorite store is if you're a curvy girl let me know where to get where your favorite place to get jeans is because your girl is always looking for curvy girl approved jeans it's so hard to find jeans that fit me in the butt and the thighs that are actually cinched in the waist i'm literally wearing a pair from target today that i have to wear a belt with because they're they fit me but they just they don't go in in the waist i should get them taken in but i won't so thank you guys for watching and i'll talk to you guys next time bye